A lot of us are, are struggling and stuff like that, and it's because what the Lord, I guess he showed me was because it's almost like we're, he sees it as we're lusting after death, and I didn't understand what that meant. He says, when we keep looking back at our old lives and things we, we used to do and we used to find joy in, in his eyes, it's, we're lusting after death. We need to start looking at those things in the way that he sees them. It's, it's like... Almost like if you, you see something like we we might look at a piece of fruit and see it as you know oh that was a good that was you know that was good that was tasty but when he looks at it he sees it as rotten and decayed you know what I'm saying so we need to start looking at certain things as you know as they as they are like you know I used to like this certain show start looking at it the way he sees it as as it's it's almost like he said you're lusting after death instead of you know saying you have life now. So, so it's almost it goes. He the universe he used with me was when he uh, said putting our hand to the plot and looking back. Mm. He says he says it basically he says you have life now you're looking towards life but you you keep looking back and you're lusting after death. He says so he said don't stop. That's just what he showed to me when I was depressed. He's like he said because I was thinking about some of the things before. He was like it's like okay I got that thought in my head. Okay you're lusting after death. Stop looking to the past to what's already dead. You're lusting after what is already dead. Wow. Wow. Yep. Almost like if you're going to a amusement park and you remember in your mind how much fun that amusement park was, but then when he shows you the amusement park as it is now and it's desolate and it's you know it's been shut down for years. People do it all the time. They compare their present with their past. And sometimes looking at hindsight, they tell lies to themselves and make the rear look prettier than what's right there in front of them. So that's one of the things that reminds me of, of Lot's wife, who when God told, when the angels told Lot and his family, when he pulled them out of Sodom and Gomorrah, do not look back, whatever you do, don't look back. And many people do that. Some look back at their failures. Some look back at their successes. Some look back, I mean, they long or they, or they worry or dwell on spilt milk. And God tells every one of us, don't look back. Discouragement is all you're going to find.